Okay, Louis, today we're doing tools. Tools? Yeah, do you know tools? Tools? Mm -hmm. What tools do you use at work? Tools. Tools. Yeah, what tools do you use tools. at work? For your work. Okay. Tools for the bartender. For the bar. Uh, I need a bar a spoon. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, spoon? Yeah, what? Bar a spoon. Okay. Spoon. Like this? Yes. Alright, cool. Um, One more. Shaker. 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 Mixing glass. Mixing glass? Yes. Like this? Mixing? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Jigger. How do you spell that? G. G. E. I. 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 G. G. E. E. R. R. Like this? Yes. What is that? This for the onsas. Oh, to measure? Mm -hmm. It's like a triangle? Mm -hmm. Like a little cup? Like a shot for the shots? Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> this is a ginger from Alien. Alien. <laughs> oh, that's the author. H.R. Geiger. H.R. Geiger is the, G the author. Uh -huh. Okay. This one, right? Yes. This one? Uh -huh. Yeah, I imagine when you said for the ounces, I imagine this one. The name is, oh, it's with the letter J. Oh, double J. Jigger with the J. Mm -hmm. Like this. Double G. Double G. But starts with J. Uh -huh. Okay, that's the name? Jigger? Jigger. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was called a uh, shot measurer <laughs> to measure the shots. I didn't know the name was Jigger. I think I heard that before, but I didn't know exactly what it was. Okay, this is a Jigger? Yes. You only have one or you have different ones? Uh, different ones. Like this one? Yeah, this we, one, this we one. have a Japanese and classic. Which one is the Japanese? The, the Japanese is the one piece. For example, the, to the right now of this. Over here? Yeah. Oh, Buchanan's. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Japanese Jigger. Mm -hmm. I never had one of these before. Never. All right, cool. What else? Jigger. What else? What else? This, uh, another, another uh, tool. Oh, wait. This is G J I G G E R. More? Tools. Yeah, yeah, more this, tools. Uh, tools colador, of the bartender. The colador, I don't know no, in English. I don't know how do you say. Do you know more tools in English? No. All right, put in your notebook. Tools for the bartender. Bar spoon, shaker. Which one is the bar spoon? For what? It's a, a large spoon. Oh, to mix? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's a mixing spoon. Oh, look, in this picture, they're using the... Uh, uh, 
What is this for? The what is that for? Is that for the liquid? Yes. The pour, for example, soda. Because I see this guy. Look, what is he doing? Mm -hmm. What is that? For the no mixes, the 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 liquors. Oh, what's this? It's um, Maro. You call it Maro? Maro, ma Mandler, I don't see. Cool. For the mojitos? For the mojitos or caipirinha. Wow. And mixing glass? Mm -hmm. It's just what? Regular glass or what? Mm -hmm. Ah, like a little jarra. Uh -huh. oh, oh, yeah, it says in Spanish, jarra. <laughs> okay, you have one of these. Okay, a big glass. Mm -hmm. And you wash. Yeah. Clean, wash. Oh, look. What's yeah. this? This is... <laughs> In Spanish, it's colador. Oh, in Spanish, good. Good job with your Spanish. Excellent Spanish. Look, this is called one set. Set? Set. One, two, three, four, five tools. Okay. Hey, do you have one of these for the ice ball? Yes, we have, but this is a cube. No, it's not ball. No, to make a ball? No. Only uh, so you understand what is set? This is the, the team bar. The team, yeah. And what is set up? Set up. The, it's different. Uh -huh. It's birth. It's action. Is different. Set is birth. Up is preposition. Set up. This is the birth. Prepare everything. Make a preparation. Look, this is a setup. Mm, okay. For example, this is your setup. My setup. And this is the action. Okay, set up the table. Okay. You put everything like this. Very beautiful, organized yeah. for the table, maybe. Set up the table. Okay. For example, the plaquette, the plate, bar, uh, spoon, yeah. or tonight. Or another example, set up the stage. Look, set up the table. Mm -hmm. Everything is ready. Mm -hmm. Maybe we have a concert set up. We need the stage for the the artist prepare you need to prepare everything you see this is a mm -hmm. setup in your case set up the tables set up the place setting this is called place setting one place mm -hmm. setting for breakfast for dinner for lunch mm -hmm. so they use this a lot, set up. It's like, make ready. When is the birth? When is the cosa? Is when you see like this, everything is ready. It's the set up. Set up, okay. Right? It's set only cosa. Yeah, like acomodar, organize. It's the verbo de like organize. Okay. Uh, the person they say hey tengo que llegar temprano porque tengo que set up todo okay. I think in Spanish this an acomodar mm -hmm. o preparar you know and the jigger is J I G G E R okay. jigger jigger all right
right, let's do. Oh, look, bar spoon. Bar spoon. You got it. Excellent, bar spoon. What's this? Bar midi. Mat. 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 Yeah, this is one mat. Can you read the definition? Used. Oh, yeah. Counters. This is the counter. You know, sometimes they're like this. And the liquid. Mm -hmm. And you put in the bar like this. It's for the glasses. You put the glass like this. But it has holes. There's no holes. Holes for the liquid. The matting, what does the matting do? Raises the glass off the counter. So you don't have any chemical odor or residue. So the glass is dry. Okay, you read it. Use use on counters. Counters. Counters where glasses are stored. Maddy rises the glasses of the counter to paint airflow and allow a glass to dry without leaving any chemical. Adore. Odor. Okay. Or residual. Good. Bar matting. Bar matting. Or bar mat. When you have four, okay. it's matting. Okay. One mat. Whoa. Bar. Oh my god, look at all that. Copy everything. What the hell? <laughs> copy, copy everything. And I only want bar mat. <laughs> what? What happened? Alright. Bar mat. Single. Yeah, only one. You see? Mm -hmm. Look, this is the glass. Raise the glass. That's right. Bacardi, Heineken. Anyway. You see, I told you. Mm -hmm. You have one? Yes, we have. Look, perfect explanation. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Perfect. You use it? Yeah. Bar mat. Do you know the name in English? What is the name in Spanish? Tapete. All right. Now bar spoon. Bar spoon. Is used for what? For stirring. 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 Well, and yeah. assist with layer in pot preparation. What is the layering? One, two. Liquor okay. for the colors uh -huh. for the gay colors. Okay. Yeah, green. For example, red. A B C. Yeah, exactly. This is the cocktail creation. This is layers. Don't touch the layers. Look, put in your. Notebook layering, layering in cocktail creation. Layering, it's like this. The heavy liquor first, mm -hmm. then the light, so you don't mix. Mm -hmm. So decoration. Mm -hmm. I think this is a white Russian. 
don't know. Maybe. ABC? ABC. Oh, I thought, oh yeah, one, two, three, yeah, I see. The, the color D for the... Look, perfect layering over here with the colors. Mm -hmm. What is an example? Oh, here is the white Russian mm -hmm. with Kalua. Yummy. What is one example? Oh, look, here's the layers. Sweet drinks, fruit juice, water, alcohol. Alcohol layer, water layer, fruit juice layer, sweet drink layer. You see, one. this is how many layers? Layers. This how many? Three. Three, that's right. That's the layers. Look, the jigger. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite drink with layers? ABC. Cocktail. ABC. ABC. Look, Kahlua, Bailey's, Grand Marnier. Marnier. B52. How do you pronounce this one? Grand Marnier? Marnier. Marnier? Mm -hmm. The people say Marnier? Marnier. Okay. I think it's like a French. Yes, this one says. Other drink? Um, With uh, layers? Look, they have a special tool. Yeah, the Mai Tai. Yes. What's this? This, uh... Black and Tan, no? Black and Tan. Is the name? Mm, maybe. Black and tan. Mm -hmm. It's with a uh, beer, I think. Irish. With, with the beer. Guinness. Whiskey with beer. Something that I've never mm -hmm. seen this before. Yeah. Irish is uh, Jameson whiskey. No, two beers. Two beers? Pale beer yeah, pale. and dark beer. Oh. You put the two Guinness. Mm -hmm. The two Guinness beers. Wow. Pell L or lager with a stout. Mm -hmm. You mix it. Crazy. You ever, you prepare one of those before? Um, no. They make it classic with the Guinness. You know what is Guinness? We don't have. Don't have Guinness? Boo. We have uh, another porter. Which porter do you have? Uh, this is the name Ticus. 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 Oh, it's craft? It's craft from Colimita. Do you have base? No. This is Pell L. Mm -hmm. This is a famous beer, but in uh, in Europe, I think. Mm -hmm. Not in America. Cool. It's your birthday today? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it was last month, right? Last month. Last month. <laughs> exactly. All right, Max. The bar spoon is used 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 for stirring can assist with layering in cocktail creation. Yeah, it's your assistant mm -hmm. when you make uh, layers. Look, this is called the opener, mm -hmm. bottle opener. Opener, bottle opener. Here they put beer because you work in the bar, but in Mexico it's for Coca Cola. So it's called only bottle opener. Okay. I really like the bottle openers. They have like a, on the fridge or the wall and you use it. And the cap, this is the cap. Mm -hmm. It goes automatic. It goes into the, like a, like a little. A bucket. Yeah, like a bucket, like a pocket. That's crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's like a, it's not technology, but it looks cool because you open and then it's in the uh, special box for the cups. All right. Look, this is the rim. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is perfect. You see the separation here? Yeah. That this is the rim. So this is called glass rimmer. This is the glass. Well, this is not a glass. This is a tumbler, but this is a glass and this is the glass rim. So this is the glass rimmer. Okay, can you read the bottle opener? 
you can use use you can use a wine oh, sorry Le oh man you can use a wine opener opener to totally makes sense to you use a uh, separate on for bottle beer especially in high vol volume volume beer location yeah if you have a lot of beer orders you need a special bottle opener for the beers only mm -hmm. because that <laughs> remember what is said here the odor chemical odor chemical odor chemical it's when odor. you smell the beer well, actually, look, chemical odor, yeah, the yeah. marker, but the beer, the liquor, the wine, you yeah. don't want to mix. Well, Oof, this one is crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> this one is actually not too bad. I have a green one. I think it's this one. The green ones? The odor? Oh, my God. It's like fish. <laughs> the green ones. I don't know why. The color green. Oof. The Maybe. students in the in the school they love this oh yeah. teacher let me smell i'm like no no stop it's not drugs <laughs> all right so it says here maybe if you have beer and wine you need a special one for the beer you don't want to mix the odor mm -hmm. you know the beer odor it's kind of crazy next we have the glass yeah, rimmer. rimmer very cool mm -hmm. I, I like this, uh, I don't know, technology. <laughs> you know this? Very yeah, cool. Yeah, with the three piece. Yeah, with the salt. Yeah, salt and maybe tahini. Mm. And another, the lime juice. I only know margaritas and micheladas, right? Other, what is other cocktail that is not a, like a Mexican cocktail for this? Um, to use the glass rimmer. Okay. Margaritas, this Mexican bar. Yeah, yeah. For example, the cabin uh, sidecar. Sidecar? Sidecar. Sidecar. That's the name of the cocktail. Yeah. Hi, side on the side. Sidecar. Yeah. And car the carbon. Yeah. Cocktail. Car. Oh, sidecar like that mm -hmm. together. Okay, cool. What is what's in this cocktail? We make a um, cognac. Oh yes, you're right. Look at Grand, the rim. Grand Marnier and lime juice with Grand Marnier? Other Marnier? They use in all the cocktails for Marnier, right? Uh, sugar are in the glass. Wow. Yes. Oh, so this is sugar? Yeah. Wow. Wow, you're a good bartender. You know the drinks exactly which one we need the uh, glass rimmer. So look, you see the glass rimmer here it says lime juice. Lime juice. Here, yeah. salt. salt. And look, applying salt and sugars Sugar. to the rims. Okay. Even though this is labeled lime juice, please use water <laughs> for the American cocktails. Mm -hmm. No lime juice. See, lime juice is for the margarita. Classic, the technology is for the margarita only. <laughs> Can you read it? Uh, it work, works best with the open, open? sponge. A sponge? The sponge is to clean. Oh, okay. Sponge? This is kind of like a sponge. Yeah. But this the is not sponge. Bob a sponge? <laughs> yes, the sponge bob. A sponge in place. So there is not too much sugar or salt on the glass ring. This is called a paring knife paring for the garnish. Mm -hmm. What garnish do you have? We have uh, a slice the grapefruit, orange, lemon, lime. Um, Twist, lemon, lime, orange. Strawberry. Uh, here oh, is to cut the celery. Yeah. Celery they put in the Micheladas, in the Bloody mm -hmm. Mary. Bloody Caesar. Bloody Caesar? Mm -hmm. 
What is that? Like a uh, Mary? Sister? Yeah, it's Female Chinese. and boys and girls? Chinese only the tomato juice uh -huh. or clamato. <laughs> clam juice. Or clam juice. Oh, look, is this bacon? Bacon. What the hell? Look, celery. This is the celery. Yeah. What is this for the garnish? Olive. Olives. And this? Uh, cucumber. 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 Uh, oh, look, more bacon. So this is the Bloody Caesar? Bloody Caesar. With uh, olives, cucumber, bacon, and yeah. celery? Yeah, we have a What's this? We have a different presentation. Oh, okay. Yeah. For example, in another... We oh, look, baby pickle. Yeah. You know what is different pickle and what is different uh, cucumber, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, is it good? Yeah. Oh, look, shrimp. Ooh, one jalapeno. I recommend for the after party. <laughs> yeah? The hangover? Yeah. Hangover. Hangover. Yeah, like the movie. You know this movie? It's called yeah. Hangover. Hangover. Yeah, there's like three movies. <laughs> Look, Hangover cocktail. So if the people say, I need something for my Hangover, you say Bloody Mary. Mary. Hangover helpers with a hamburger. Look. Yes. <laughs> Look, Michelada Hangover Cure. Hangover mm -hmm. Cure with jalapenos. Mm -hmm, jalapenos. Do you say jalapenos or jalapenos? Jalapenos. Jalapenos. Let's see if Google understands. Jalapenos. <laughs> jalapenos. I heard somebody say jalapenos. I was like, what the hell is jalapenos? <laughs> I heard people say jalapenos. Not jalapenos. <laughs> okay, cool. So this is just a knife, but they say paring knife. It's a, there's different knives in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Fish knife, steak knife. Maybe one day somebody right. says, yeah, exactly. They can say, hey, Louis, I need a steak knife, you know, for my ribeye. Okay. The steak knife is the one you have in your kitchen. The Mexican people have in the kitchen. <laughs> Look at this. It's the classic. Yes, this one. <laughs> and we use, we just say steak knife. And in the restaurant they have with wood, this color. Steak knife. Everybody has in the kitchen the steak knife with this color. In the restaurants in the United States, if you go to the steakhouse, they give you steak knife, mm -hmm. always. And this is called paring knife. Paring is different. Paring knife. Yeah, look. It's just regular, mm -hmm. like in the kitchen, the Mexican kitchen. It's, uh... You can say it's for everything. You know, for everything. Very nice. See, for the fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables. Okay, so we got paring knife, paring knife glass uh, rimmer, rimmer, bottle beer uh, opener. Beer opener. Some people can say different. Beer bottle, bottle, opener. Uh, bottle opener. Beer bottle. Over here, beer bottle over here. A bottle opener? Yeah, no problem. Bar spoon, bar, spoon, bar, mat. bar mat, a lot of tools will say bar, bar, right? Mm -hmm. Bar, bar. All right. This is called a caddy. Caddy garnish. It's for the garnish. Garnish caddy. Garnish. They have other ones for the medicine or the vitamins in your house. Look. For the pills. Monday, Tuesday, 
for my vitamins. You see? They even have one for the pool. I was gonna say, this is this is, Google is so crazy. It reads your mind. It goes into your telelamente. They have some for the for the ocean. Okay. This no water goes inside. Dry. Yeah, it's dry for your uh, vitamin. I mean, for your medicine, you know. And yours is for the garnish. Garnish caddy for the bar. This is one too. Yeah. It's a caddy, but it's for the napkins and, and the mixers. And the straw. The little straws and things. So what garnish do you have in your caddy? Mm, this is a, a slices. Orange, lemon, lime, and basil. Wow, really? Basil? Basil, rosemary. Rosemary, wow. And sage. Sage? Wow. And olives, cherries. Cherries? Cherries. Damn, you have, so you have how many caddies? Um, uh, we have two. Two? How many spaces? Um, five. Five? One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. No, six. <laughs> five. No, six. Six. Maybe six. This, this four. Is a, this is special for the five. The gray goose. Oh, really? Yeah. You have a a gray goose a caddy. Gray goose caddy. Wow. Well, sponsor. Look, Jim Beam. Mhm. Mm Let's see if they have a. This five for the temple. Down. This one. Down. This one. Yeah. Five. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Mhm. Mm Anything you have? Oh, look the onions. The little martini okay. onions. Yeah, for the Gibson. Yeah. Uh, let's see if they have a gray goose one. Ooh, that one is very nice. Yeah. Wow. Is it like this? Yeah. Blue. This is six. Gray goose. This is my favorite vodka. Oh look, gray yeah. goose cazadores, Bacardi. Mm -hmm. That's a cool, a cool caddy. Garnish mm -hmm. caddy. This another tall. Tall one? Look, this one you can put ice. Do you put ice yes. in your caddy? Yeah, for fresh. Yeah, so it's like a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Like the uh, oysters, you know? They put mm -hmm. ice on the oysters. Wow, look at the Grey Goose cup. We have two. Yeah? Yeah. Man, I love Grey Goose. <laughs> one time they gave me a free... I got a big Grey Goose. Oh, no, it was Belvedere. Mm. It was Belvedere. And I think it was a free glass. It was like a glass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was a glass. I can't remember. Something free with the velvet there. The kit. Yeah, no, it was only like one glass. <laughs> I love this one too, the uh, Patron. Uh -huh. Patron tequila is good. But this is coffee, mm -hmm. Patron. This is my favorite. Uh, I never taste this one, but I want, I like uh, Kalua, but I want to see the Patron one, this one, you see? Mm -hmm. Is this good? Patron Cafe? I like the another liquor with coffee, this is the... You taste this one? Yeah. The XO Cafe? I like the... Reposado, the white. Oh my God! There's another one in India. What? Maybe for the space. Whoa! One, two, three. Dark. Dark. This, this the tequila perfume is not my favorite. No, you don't. I like it. I really like this one, the green one, yeah. the silver. Silver. Green box, but silver tequila. Mm -hmm. Is I don't know why. Oh, I know why because the. In the music, the hip hop, the rappers, they say a lot Patron. Mm -hmm. So now it's in my it's in my education. <laughs> Alright. Next, these are called cloths. Cloths? Yeah, trapos. Cloth. 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 Look, I'll cloths. show you the pronunciation. Cloth. 
like San- Santa Claus. Cloth. 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 I call it cleaning cloth. Cleaning cloth. Yeah, cleaning cloth. See? Mm-hmm. And they can say microfiber because it's the microfiber. Yeah. Cleaning cloth. You did not use it. I just say cleaning cloth. Hey, can you pass me the cleaning cloth? Or the sponge? I, I need only paper napkin. Oh, you use, they're called paper towels. Oh, paper towels. You know towel? To dry your hand? Beach towel. Oh, okay. You know to take a shower? Mm-hmm. Look, this is towel. Towels? Yeah. This day we have <laughs> Towels, right? For the pool? Yeah. Pool towel? So, we call these paper towels. Mm-hmm. Paper towels. So they can say, hey, Luis, can I have a paper towel? I drop my drink mm-hmm. or my paper towel. Napkins or paper towels? So start using this one, paper towels. Paper towels. Paper towels. Look, paper mm-hmm. towels. Paper yeah, in America, in the United States, everybody says paper towels. Oh. And everybody buys paper towels in the house. In Mexico, no. You have one of these in the bar? No. No? No. Only napkins? Mm -hmm. It's different. This is paper towel, and this is paper napkin. Napkins is small, Mm -hmm. towels is big. You see? Mm -hmm. Paper towel, paper napkin. And Kleenex is called tissue. Mm-hmm. Different. Okay. Look, paper napkins, napkins, the restaurant. Tissue is Kleenex. Tissue. When you're sick, achoo. Mm-hmm. And paper towel is big. Like this. It's rollo. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yes. Yeah. So what do you have at work? Uh, we have a paper napkin and paper towel. And these are called? And dinner napkin. Mm-hmm. These are called napkins también, pero they're cloth. You see cloth? Mm-hmm. Cloth means tela. Mm-hmm, tela. Mm-hmm. If you say cleaning cloth, Es atrapo. Mm-hmm. Limpión, como le decimos. ¿Cómo le dicen? Limpión. What? Yo nunca había escuchado esa palabra. Cleaning cloth. Eh, pásame limpiando. What? <risa> nunca he escuchado esa palabra. Yo, ahí soy trapo. Pásame el trapo o el trapito. <risa> and in the United States, we say, we say paper towel. Cutting board. Cutting board. Look, these are paper towels. Mm-hmm. These are cloth. You know que hay unas que parece trapo, pero parece cloth. Parecen mm-hmm. de tela. Sí. Pero la puedes romper si le, mm-hmm. si le, si las tiras. This one. Como que de They're just paper peludo, cloth. Así. Yeah, yo les digo paper cloths. Porque la tienes que tirar. Okay, this is called cutting board. Cutting board. It's for the cutting. You understand the cutting board? Mm. No. The... Cutting board? It's in the kitchen. Everybody has. This is cutting board. Oh, okay. Come on. You need to for the garnish. But this is the wall. Yeah, in your house like this. In the restaurant, plastic maybe. Plastic and all. Yeah, I have a, I have a nice one. Looks like this, very nice. But in the work, 
like this. Yeah, white. In the kitchen, you use different colors for fish, chicken, beef, but in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Because contamination, and... contamination, the chicken and the fish, is no good. People, people, for example, no, sick, the bacteria, the bacteria. So in the, the chef, this one is for fish, this one is for chicken, this one is for fruit, for vegetables, for beef, mm -hmm. and seafood. Different colors for different animal because bacteria mm -hmm. it's called cross contamination and people you can die you die yeah contamination look mm -hmm. cross contamination you see mm -hmm. look you see be careful mm -hmm. see the cutting board mm -hmm. tomato onion chicken no good you see no good look 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 look, look. In your house? No, no. Everything. No. You you get sick. Look, chicken and broccoli. Uh uh. It's no good. Look, you see different colors? Mm -hmm. That's why. Different colors. Even in the refrigerator, you put the chicken mm -hmm. down in the bottom mm -hmm. and it's not cooked because the juice. Contamination, you see? Mm -hmm. Contamination. The chef, you go to a special class, special mm -hmm. course for contamination. Maybe nine. Mm -hmm. Look, you see that. Cross contamination, you, mm -hmm. you bring the bacteria. You see fish? Vegetables. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Yeah. Especially the chicken and the vegetables. Mm -hmm. Is the, you see the juice? Mm -hmm. Contaminate. No good. So you need a special cutting board. In your bar, bartenders don't have chicken, only garnish. Mm -hmm. So only one color. And then to clean, you have the spray bottle, spray bottle, and the cleaning cloths. This is used to clean and to sanitize. Yes. You have the special chemical to sanitize. Yeah. You put in the sink, the water. Scoop. Ice, scoop. Scoop for ice cream mm -hmm. or for ice. <laughs> Self-explanation no. no. is to scoop no. the ice. Es que okay. scoop quiere decir el verbo mm -hmm. y la cosa. Okay. Es para sacar, es para... ¿Cómo será el verbo de scoop en español? Vamos a ver cómo traducen scoop ustedes. Mira, esta es para ice cream, ¿ves? Uh -huh. Ice cream pala. scoop. Palar, ¿verdad? Ajá, pala. palar. ¿Qué está en la pala? ¿Qué hace? Palar. Palar, ¿verdad? Yo creo. Vamos a ver, scoop in Spanish. Cucharar. Yo creo, cucharar. Cucharar. Cucharón. Cosa, cosa, cosa. No, era ni nos puso el verbo el diccionario. To scoop. Queremos el verbo. Cucharear. No, no, no. Air scoop, scoop. No, ponen la pura cosa en vez del de verbo porque no existe en español. Es un abismo entonces. Ya. Yeah. To scoop. It was ready to scoop. Mira, ahí, ahí mm -hmm. está to scoop. Sí, lo usamos en inglés. To scoop. Para sacar, era vez no existe la palabra, tienen que poner dos. To scoop es sacadora, sacar, lo, está, lo sacas pues, sacas la nieve. Y a veces me da miedo a mí usar esa palabra, siento que es como muy básica, como que no es del diccionario sacar, y sí, sí la uso. Se me hace muy básica en español, pero. Sacar la basura, por eso, como se usa tanto, se me hace como que no es la palabra correcta, pero sí. Look, the muddler, mud, muddler. Muddler. Este es para hacer lodo. Okay. Mud es lodo. Y es el alo, sí, lo, alodador. We lodador. Have a, we often the name is mudslide. 
mudslide. Oh, I love the mudslide. <laughs> I love it. One day, my, my father bought a big one from this restaurant. Look. And he put it in the fridge, and I drank it all. And I, I was, it had alcohol. Look, mudslide. TGI Fridays. It's a restaurant. That's like, like a choco milk <laughs> with alcohol. With alcohol. <laughs> Look, he put one of these in my refrigerator. Wow. Big one. Mudslide. It's like rompope. Mm -hmm. No, I drank it all. I finished it. This one, look. It's a restaurant. Okay. And they sell La Botella. Look, liquor, mudslide. This restaurant, TJI Fridays. So I came home, llegué a la casa, and I saw one of these in the fridge, grandota. And I, I started drinking it. Me la acabé. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was good. Me acabé toda la botella. Mudslide. And look, TJI Fridays is a famous restaurant. Like a... TGI Fridays. Mm -hmm. Así se ve el logotipo. ¿eh? Mm -hmm. Y venden, como es tan famoso, venden todo lo que venden ahí, lo, lo puedes comprar en Walmart también. Ah, okay. A mí me gustan esas mud slides y me gustan unos que se llaman potato scans. You know which one is potato scans? Mm -hmm. Es un appetizer. Mm -hmm. Son de las papas. Es la cáscara de la papa. Y venden así las abritas, potato scans. Y mira, así las venden en TJ Fridays. Le hacen scoop a toda la papa y dejan nada más la piel. Skin. ¿Qué es la piel? Y luego les echan queso y tocino. Es un appetizer. Y estas sabritas saben a queso y tocino. Son de TJ Fridays. Y sabe como si te estuvieras comiendo las puras... La piel de la papa. Y sabe igualito a los appetizers y los venden en Walmart. I recommend. Si vas a Walmart y los ves, te los recomiendo. Saben bien ricas. Y son de TGI Fridays del restaurante. Y se hicieron famosos. Mira cómo se ve la pura piel. Mm -hmm. ¿Ves? Es crispy. Mm -hmm. Mira. Scoop. Ya es que te dije scoop. Mm -hmm. Le sacan toda la, la papa de ahí. Okay. Le echan. ¿Cómo se llaman estas? Bacon Bits. Bacon Bits. ¿Te acuerdas que lo vimos el otro día para la sala? Mm -hmm. Ah, pues para esos también le echan Bacon Bits. ¿Cómo se llaman estas? Uh, no, Chives. Green Onions. Oh, okay, no. Green Onions. Green Onions, yep. Green Onions. Alright, so the Muddler. Y esa se llama Mudslide. Mm -hmm. Mud es lodo. Entonces este es para hacer lodo. Como en el mojito, ¿verdad? Haces como lodo, ahí abajo. Como una mezcla que parece lodo. Con, el, con la hierbabuena, el azúcar, ¿verdad? Este es de madera. Wood. Uh -huh. Es to crush the fruit y sacarle los juices. Uh -huh. You press the herbs. Press. <coughs> Machucar, press. Muddler. ¿Ya le dices tú así también, Muddler? ¿O cómo le dices tú? Muddler o también le este, decimos macerador. Mm. Amasar, para amasar ya. Muddler. Tú dile a todos estos en inglés. Okay. Dile, hey, pásame el Muddler. Así empieza, aunque digas en español, pero el nombre, dilo, empieza a decirlos todos en inglés. Okay. Todos, porque te puede tocar que te cambies de un restaurante. A algo así, no sé, un, un restaurante en un hotel donde tienen un bar de mixology, bien fresón, y, el, y tu jefe puede ser de Londres o algo así, y tu jefe no va a decir, no, no te va a entrenar. No, mi jefa sí me dice las cosas como... Puro inglés, ya ves, ah, ya no. tu jefe ya te está diciendo, tú también ya adopta los nombres todos en inglés. Mutler. No, como lo que me pasa de eso de que me dice, pásame el colador de gusano o el... Ya ves. Por eso entonces, Ajá. colador de gusano, y luego si te toca un, un jefe mixologist de Australia o algo, ¿verdad? algo así loco, 
No te va a decir colador de gusano. Te va a decir strainer. Look, I was right. Shot glass. Yo pensaba mm -hmm. que les decían nomás shot glass a estos, pero jigger. Mm -hmm. The jigger. The shot glass to measure one ounce, two ounces. Mm -hmm. Así se escriben las ounces abreviadas. Ok. Repeat, jigger. Jigger. Good. Shakers. Shaker. This is a spout. Spout, okay. Y es de velocidad. Speed spout. A speed spout. A speed spout. Yes. Speed spout. Ese sí. No, es no lo he escuchado. Speed spout. Do you have it in all your bottles? Yes. They have a lot of speed spouts in the tianguis, the tienda de segunda. You can buy. Ahí tienen unas cajas llenas de speed spouts. You're like, man. Look at this one. Yeah, for your house. <laughs> speed spouts. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see all the bartenders have mm -hmm. the speed spouts. Look, another mat. Another mat. But this is for the accidents. Spills. <laughs> this spill, one spill, is an accident. Okay. Like spouts. accident with my coffee, is the the water mm -hmm. is the spill. Okay. Be careful with the spills. It's a problem. Look, que te dije coffee. Mm -hmm. It's the, or sometimes oil spill. Look, in the beach, the petroleum, the Pemex people. Mm -hmm. The Pemex in the ocean spill. Look, in the ocean. You see? Pemex. Look at this guy. Or wine. You see? That's the spill. Ooh, on the computer, no, no, no. So this is the mat for the spill. Different, a little different. We have mat for the glasses and mat for spills. Look, are you ready? Oh. Hawthorne strainer. Strainer. It's a strainer, pero hay strainers, strainers para pasta. Hay strainers para... Hay strainers para juice, pasta. Hay uh, strainers para... Hay strainers para hasta para ropa. Las lavadoras tenían un strainer antes. Okay. Hay otros strainers para el trapeador. Mm -hmm. Pero este se llama Hotter Strainer. Yo creo que ese Hotter lo inventó o algo Hotter? así. Hotter. Hotter. Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Lo adoptaron ese nombre cuando los, las cosas tienen nombres así, a veces es por el inventor. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. Mira, ¿por qué dice? ¿Por qué se llama? Ahí está, ¿ves? El que lo patentó. Lo, pues, lo patentaron como Julep Strainer. Mm -hmm. Mira, viene del Hawthorne Café. Mm -hmm. Una barra famosa en Boston, en United States. Cuando era muy clásico, yo creo, las barras y la gente iba a pistear a la carnetía. Como las películas, ya ves que las puertas y, así, y, las, y se perdían. De ahí viene famoso y la gente ya adoptó ese no, nombre. No, no. Mira, la historia behind the Hotter Strain. El cuento detrás del Hotter Strain. Desde hace 200 años, mira. Realmente se llama Julep Strainer, pero ya inventaron a decirle Hawthorne Strainer. Mira, este dice Hawthorne. Yo creo que nadie le dice Julep. Lo patentaron así, si buscas el patente. Porque hay uno que se llama Julep y es diferente. Ah, esa. Esa. Es el, no tenemos. Entonces ese dile Julep y al otro Hawthorne. 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 
Mira, do I need a julep strainer? Why is it called a hot orange strainer? Y ahí está, how to use it. Mira, esos el gusano se llaman coils. Y están enredados. Wound coils. Wound. Wound. Y los hoyitos se llaman perforaciones, hoyos perforados, perforated holes, los de la julep. Mm -hmm. Entonces, los hoyitos son holes, los resortes se llaman coils. Look, cualquier coil, hay muchos coils en la electricidad y así, mira. Mira, hay coils, los vaporizadores que están de moda ahorita, usan coils también para prender. Mira, esos son coils. Mm. Cualquier no. cosa que esté así. Como una resistencia, ¿no? Exacto, las resistencias, por eso las hacen así para la electricidad. Mag magnetismo, todo mm -hmm. eso. Necesitas coils. Mira, esos son los coils del vaporizador. Mm -hmm. Les ponen algodón. Y eso se moja el algodón con el líquido que compras de nicotina y eso uh -huh. hace el vapor. Uh -huh. Mira, esos son coils de magnetismo, de, uh -huh. son de bocina estos. Entonces, como se mira igualito, ¿eh? es un así, uh -huh. un coil, un resortito. Wow. Mira coils para los mosquitos. Uh -huh. <risa> wow, los classic. Raidolito. ¿Ya no venden de estos así? Sí. Ah. De, hasta me hace, me da nostalgia esos, como de los años setentas o qué, cuando, ¿dónde veía esas cosas? Como de bebés, ¿verdad? Se veía. All right, look, this is a wine cooler. Wine cooler. O chiller para enfriar. Chiller. You know what is going on here? Una vez buscamos unas, ah, no, las busqué con la, con la Jasmine, esta muchacha, ¿es, ¿es mesera? ¿Sí las hemos visto? Sí. Oh, sí hicimos la clase ¿no? de, de, de las wines, de la número 6. Ahí sale la wine cooler. They have really nice ones. Ahora, hoy en día, tienen unas bien nice que te puedes llevar a la playa como mochilitas. Oh, look, a wine cooler for a lot of, like a little fridge. You have one of these at work? Yeah. This is if you're rich and you have a lot of wine in your house. Oh, for three, four of them, look, damn, that's cool. Oh, look at that, really nice one. Mm. Mm. They look like this. Yeah. Like a tumbler, a big tumbler. Oh. Let's see if they have like a Louis Vuitton or a, <laughs> what's the other one called? Versace. Because they have ashtrays for Versace, look, Versace home. Versace wine glasses. Wow, that's very cool. And this is a wine opener. Classic. Uh -huh. A lot of people, a lot of bars, they have a glass rinser. Glass rinser is like a, it's only water. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a little machine. The water is always moving. The, the water is moving. And they put the spoons or the glasses in the washes. They have in the bars. Yes, we have. And they also have in the ice cream place for the ice cream scoop. Mm -hmm. You put one ice cream and you put in the rinser. And the water is moving and now it's clean. Look, I'll show you one. I saw a video. For example, in my work. Look, there it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the classic. Mm -hmm. You know where, where they have this también? En, la, en los hospitales, bueno, in the science class, in la clase de ciencia, de biología y de física, mm -hmm. tienen en el salón uno, pero es para los ojos. Oh, por okay. si te brinca algo, si estamos haciendo un experimento. Y nos brinca algo en los ojos. Tienen uno así. Pero en vez de tener así para el glass. Tiene dos para los dos ojos. 
Llegas y le pisas con el pie y, y te lava los ojos, es especial. Tiene así dos para los ojos. Nice. Look, I'll show you one. Pero este es para los glasses. Se miran igualito. Es como para una emergencia. Uh -huh. Mira, ¿qué te dije? Uh -huh. Tiene para los dos y a veces tiene para el pie o para la mano, mira. Y es igual. Mira, ahí está el tuyo. Uh -huh. Es igual, nomás que este tiene dos para los ojos. Los tienen en los hospitales o en los lugares donde venden, en los laboratorios o pinturas y te puede brincar algo en los ojos. Y una emergencia. Mira, ahí lo está usando. Uh -huh. Entonces es como la misma idea, pero para los, los glasses. Uh -huh. Pensé en este, se me ocurrió. Y luego hay uno que tienen como para las cucharas, como para la ice cream. En las donde tiendas de pura nieve. Mira, ¿ves? Oh, okay. Lo tienes que... Y a veces son así, nomás las echas ahí. Uh -huh, sí, y ahí sí. las guardas, ahí las tienen todo el día. Y está ready cuando vas a servir otra... Uh -huh. Otra vez. Mira, así las guardas. Y ahí adentro hay agua. Y esa agua siempre se está moviendo. Entonces, no solo las guardas, las está limpiando. Mm -hmm. So, this is a rinser. rinser. So, this is for ice cream scoops. Mm -hmm. This is for glass. Mm -hmm. And this is called strainer. Strainer. Igual que el otro, strainer, strainer. pero este es de mesh. Strainer es lo mismo entonces que el otro, ¿no? Yes, pero este es de mesh. Mesh, okay. Esta es la mesh, costalito. Los costales, el material, lo hacen de mesh, tejido. Okay. Uh -huh. Strainer. Entonces, how do you say the colador fino? Mesh. ¿Así? Strainer, mesh. Yeah, está bien fino porque okay. está tejido, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. Yeah, ese es el mesh, el tejido. Ok. Strainer, mesh. Mira, esto le dicen mesh. Es como el material tejido. Esto les ponen a las defensas de los carros. Mesh. Todo esto es mesh. ¿Y el otro cómo se llamaba? Strainer. Uh, coils. coils. El resorte es coil, esto es mesh. Mesh. Mira, metal mesh. Entonces este es mesh strainer. Siempre necesito uno de estos en mi casa y nunca me, no, ni tengo creo, ni tengo yo en mi casa, pero como en la casa de mi papá, en la casa de mi mamá sí hay, siempre pienso que tengo y lo busco y no tengo en mi casa, pero es como hay muchos en la casa de mi mamá. <risa> Para comprar uno, siempre termino usando los filtros de papel del café, los de papel, que es para la cafetera, entonces lo mismo. Alright, so... Any questions? No. Mesh strainer. Mm -hmm. Repeat. Mesh strainer. Glass rinser. Glass rinser. Wine opener. Wine opener. Wine chiller. Wine chiller. Or, or cooler. Cooler. Or oh, what was the other one? Other? Wine, wine cooler. Yeah, como las así las dicen a las bebidas de sabores que venden de, de durazno en el Oxxo para las muchachas. Uh -huh. Hawthorne. 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 Strainer. Oiga, nos brincamos este, se llama Store and Pour. Son para los jugos. Uh -huh. Y tiene la cosita, ¿cómo se llamaba esta? Spout. spout. ¿Sabes cómo se llama la spout? spout? La llave del agua clásica, como afuera. Las de afuera. Ah, okay. La del patio. Uh -huh. Le dicen spout. Uh -huh. A las llaves. No se llaman keys. Se llaman spouts. Spout. Oh, okay. Y esta es una spout. Pour. ¿Qué es pour? Yeah. Ya ves. Por eso lo... Guardar y pour. Esto es para guardar y para pour. Store, pour, spout. No, oh. spout, pues es ya la pura spout. Pero este como es de plástico para guardar. Pero, ¿te acuerdas la spout está sola? Uh -huh. Y esta es speed spout, más rápido. Uh -huh. 
Como que elimina el oxígeno, ¿verdad? Sí, también hay... Bueno, una le dicen de tiempo también. Ah, pues la velocidad. Pues corta... Speed, corta, esto es velocidad. El chorro, ¿no? Ya yeah, hay un muchacho que se toma las botellas enteras así de un jalón uh-huh. y antes de hacerlo le mete unos popotitos de los mixers uh-huh. para que se salga todo El speed. Yeah. Shaker. Shaker. Jigger. Mutler. Scoop. Scoop. Ice scoop. Ice scoop. Cloth. Cloth. Cleaning cloth. Cleaning cloth. Spray bottle. Spray bottle. Cutting board. Cutting board. Cleaning cloth. Cleaning cloth. Garnish caddy. Garnish caddy. Paring knife. Paring knife. R- glass Bar- rimmer. Bar- opener. opener. Bar spoon. Bar spoon. Bar, Bar mat. mat. Bar mat. And this is a spill mat. Spill mat. Mm-hmm. A spill mat. Yeah, some some of these they're on the floor too. Mm-hmm. Any questions? No, yeah. Good, excellent. 